Peter Futua to evaluate the speech given by Harry Karaji. <laughs> I don't think it is I who influenced you. I want to show the Toastmasters that I used to dress like this a long time. <laughs> it is he who influenced you. I don't know whether you chose your man manner of dressing in accordance with the plan today, but well, if that was the case, then it worked very well. One of the things I have found to be very effective is the way you dress in terms of projecting sincerity and credibility. It is very difficult to come here in Bermuda shorts and a t-shirt and convince people to give you their 350 million shillings in cash. It works for movies, it works in other forums, in fictional forums, it very rarely works in the world. So when you came dressed like that, fairly formally dressed, that helped create in you a sense of credibility. Were you a credible source of information? Yes. Why? You're a trustmaster. So of course you know about certain Did you phrase your appeal in terms of the audience itself? Now, I had a challenge with that because you didn't appeal to why I should personally, why should Peter join that club? It is good to have a learning world, it is good to have all these other things, it's good to support them, but what is the need for me? And you could you had a few tools that you could have used, I can attain. And this, yes, I'm looking for an advanced communicator symbol. Somebody help me. I'm looking for an advanced communicator symbol. You could have told me that this is what we push you for in terms of achieving the Toastmasters goals. You could have told me that I'll achieve my goals faster. I'm looking for an advanced communicator symbol. But I can't make the most speeches in this club setting and move faster towards attaining my goals. Did you cut the audience's interest? Yes. Why do I say that? Because you walked around the audience and you made eye contact with individuals. I thought you focused on one place, but you made eye contact with everyone, and you came close. So everyone could relate with you, and I thought that was very good. I thought that was well done. Did you use facts and logics? Yes, you did. You also used examples, personal examples of what Toastmasters has done for you, and you were emotional. Now, Harry Karanja is a big, the way I know him. Computer geeks, computer geeks are not projected. As he did not emotion. But I saw Harry's voice almost quivering as he pleaded with us to come and join us. I, I was touched, knowing Harry. I was touched. Was it organized and effective? Yes. However, I think the transitions could have been managed a little better from one transition to the next so that ideas are related to the main topic, but they transition a little better in between themselves. Was the bad body language and local variety? Did it contribute? Yes, it did. You did not make any unusual gestures. You know, I was told that if you are telling lies, the more you emphasize and the more emphatic and you emphasize the point, <laughs> the weaker it is. <laughs> so when you came and spoke quietly, for me that projected credibility. 
Were you, was I persuaded to accept the speaker's views? Yes. For two reasons. The first is because Harry is one who's speaking about it, and I love Harry. I think Harry is a fantastic <coughs> But the second is because it's a lady I feel very passionately about. It. For us to keep something like Toastmasters secret among ourselves, when there's a population of more than 3 million people in Nairobi alone who so desperately need a tool that they can use to develop themselves, and Toastmasters is the only affordable option for them, is incredibly selfish. I agree. It should start. And I, I wrote in your manual, sign me up. I didn't get the book. It's going up. It's going on there. I'll be sure to sign up. What could you have done more effectively? I thought that your opening statement could have been a bit stronger. Now, you came and asked what is the first Toastmasters commitment. I am the president. <laughs> <laughs> Sad reality is that you And you could have dropped our memories because you left it hanging and it hung forever and still hanging now. <laughs> what did I like about this speech? I felt that it addressed a need that desperately exists. And you called for an answer. That was one of your objectives that you are driving us towards a particular action. I think you did that incredibly well, especially because I can see the form moving around. So something will result from that. You raised the possible objections that could arise from this, and you counted them. I thought that was very good. Harry Karaja, I am proud. As a member of this club, I am proud to have a bad meeting. 